Hello everyone, hope you, hope you are having a wonderful Wednesday day. Hopefully weather-wise is much nicer than we have here. It's been raining, pouring rain all day. And it's supposed to get warmer finally. I mean, it's the middle of May, finally some warm weather. I think last year we already had summer. We were like t-shirts, tank tops and just melting. And now we're like, some of us are freezing because it's, <clears throat> excuse me, quite chilly outside, so. But anyway, <coughs> okay, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, so today's video will be about free brands I used to use. Used to use. Um, kind of natural. Some of them more than others. And maybe some products that you might enjoy. Uh, some reasons why I stopped using them. And let's get started. Let's get to the video because... <coughs> what's, what's wrong with me today? <coughs> The first time I started filming this video, my camera just cut me off. Apparently it was too long or it was not good enough. It was like, you're done. <laughs> I'm, I'm shutting off now. Okay, so the first brand... <clears throat> and no water near here. Okay, the first brand I'm going to be talking about is a Czech brand. They're, na they're called Manufaktura. I'll try to put it here so you'll be able to see it. Here's their logo, like the font they use. And they are a Czech brand, they were established in the year 1991, so this year actually they're celebrating... 1991? I think so. Or even sooner maybe. Yeah, 1991. So they're celebrating 25 years this year, which is quite exciting. This is one of the products I actually enjoyed by them. It's a plum shower gel, shower scrub slash gel. And it's plum, but it smells like gingerbread to me. Used to really enjoy it when I was using it. Now, they are natural. They really natural to a large extent but for example they're, they're in their shampoos for example this used to be my favorite Dead Sea Mineral Shampoo you will find sulfates in that if you're conscious about these things and uh, but for example Sophoria the Slovak organic brand they also have sulfates but their sulfates are based on coconuts I don't know if coconut oil or which part of the coconut so they're actually natural, not they're using natural, not synthetic sulfates. And sulfates, for the record, they like have this bring this foamy quality to products. So shampoos, and maybe I would find them here if I had a closer look. Yes, found them. like the second ingredient. So if you're switching from, as I am right currently, from regular cosmetics, let's, try, let's call them regular beauty products, to natural ones. This is a very nice, a very good choice if you have it available. If you're from Czech Republic or Slovakia, very easy to get this. Otherwise, they do have an internet, like an, on, like an online shop, which you can purchase this. I don't know where they ship or everywhere they ship. And I've been using the, this brand for about two years. I love their products. I use almost every other product except for men care, like men's skincare. That, so I got for my boyfriend or or if like somebody had a celebration or um, you know birthday or something and we we did some men care products we bought there and uh, also the baby range because I'm not a baby parent some might argue <laughs> or and we did we didn't have a baby in our family at that time. So I definitely recommend to, to try them out for a lot of my friends and for my colleagues and for people I know. This this brand is like it's like a staple, like they won't because it is it is natural and they don't mind these these things that I mind. But I I've tried out their products and was very happy with them. But I'm switching. I'm trying different ones. So basically, what I'm trying to say give it a try if you're switching to natural cosmetics. They have very nice products like the shampoo. For example, like hand gel, as cute as this. I'm talking too much today. Need to make more more sense. For example, from the plum. Ooh, yes, there you go. I also had the hand cream. It smells very nice. My boyfriend used to love the smell of this. He was like sniffing my hands when I used this. And then, for example, I used to use their sensitive care scrub every morning, just very briefly, very quickly, very gently. Scrub my face, it has almond oil, it was perfect, and also, for example, a lip balm, sort of, from them, their wine range, they also have a beer range, like lavender and rose, and now they have a cucumber range out, 
which would be very interesting to try. And this was uh, my favorite product by them was it was packed in this plastic jar sort of, and it was a scrub. You're not gonna be able to see it, are you? Ooh, let me know. No. Eh, there we go. I'm sorry. I'm learning to focus. It's a sweet balm uh, body scrub with uh, almond oil and thermal salt. Really, really enjoyed this product. Kind of pricey. I want to say it was more than 12 euros this. And yes, on the prep, on this side, uh, on the side, yeah. Well, uh, this was uh, shower gel is usually like seven euros. Shampoo seven, seven or eight euros. Scrub, I'm not sure, I think about 7, hand creams, 5, 6, 7 euros, and they have discounts, of course, it's cheaper, so definitely give them a try. As I said, many of my friends, many people I know are using it, I don't blame them, they are good products, but for me, as I said, I've tried out, I know they're good, I'm switching, trying to find more natural alternatives, because there are more, less and more natural alternatives. On that note, the other brand I'll be talking about, I have just like two or three products by them, is the brand Avon, I want to say. Never pronounced this in English, so I'm not sure. Sorry if I butchered it. <laughs> and I used to use this in particular, their eyeshadow primer. This is the lightest shade. If it actually had, this is like light beige. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know what's, what's going on today. <laughs> and I used to use their eyeshadows, and basically this is like close story to Manufactura. I found better products, which uh, are more suitable for me, or are better for me. So uh, their eyeshadows, I'm not saying they're bad, but currently I have a palette that lasts like the whole day. And with the primer, like, no discussion. There are no words, and it smells awesome. And it's on the pricier side, so I'm, I guess you must know which palette it is. I would make a review about it. would really love to. I mean, there are tons of reviews about this palette and other palettes by their brand. They have awesome smelling palettes. Eyeshadow palettes. So I will definitely make a review. But compared to that palette, this is, um, I'm just not willing to invest in it anymore. They also have some natural ingredients. They are less natural than Manufactura, in my opinion. But from what I've read and from... What I know might be wrong, you never know. So, they're, but they're not that pricey. I mean, they're affordable, and for all the people, they work quite well. And actually, I have one more product. I'm sorry, I just have to reach out for it. Uh, these are color corrector pearls. They're very cute. They, they are like in these different shades if you have like discolorations on your skin. I don't know if you can see it. They're greenish, sort of peachy color, vanilla color purplish color and they, not, they add nice sort of like a glow to the skin very very nice like more on the cool cool tone glow but I enjoy this product every every now and then especially for the spring summer when the weather is nicer I mean I love rain but come on we need some sunshine so when I do find an alternative basically the same color pearl idea by a different band, I'll def band brand, I'll definitely try it out. Okay, and the last brand is a ve well, well-known French natural cosmetics brand, I want to say. They have some natural ingredients, but they also do have some synthetic ingredients. And the brand is... Uh, I'm going to butcher this. I don't speak French. I'm sorry. Yves, yeah. Yves Rocher. I'm sure you're familiar. This, in particular, is their Hydrating Cleansing Milk. Did not like this. Irritated my eyes, felt really heavy on the skin, and I feel, felt really, like, oily and cakey after I used it. It didn't feel clean. It's a cleansing milk. Did not work for me. As I said, this is all... This video is all about me. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a recommendation. So, did not work for me. Then, for example, by the same range, face cream. Too heavy. So I tried their face gel, I have it here, it boxed even. It was okay for first couple of days, but then, I don't know, it just, it just, it felt, I was like, heavy. oh, it's so light on the skin, it's awesome. No. I, I don't know, I, I'm not allergic or sensitive to cosmetics, but I just didn't like it. It wasn't like, 
when you want a product to work for you but it just doesn't, you're sad, but we're not going to force yourself to use it. So, the next product I have here is also by the same same range. We ha I, had a, I have a lot of products by them, apparently. You know, when you're part of their, when you have this card and collect these stamps, you get discounts regularly, like these coupons. So, I, once I found myself in like, oh, coupon, I have to buy something. I'm like, I already have everything I need. Ooh, ooh, we need to buy something because, like, discount. We don't want it, like, to, you know. It's, it's till the end of the month. We have to buy something till the end of the month. So, that was, that was, yeah. Spending money for no good reason sometimes. And also have sample sizes. And basically what I want to say, they are okay. They are affordable. They're very popular. I have nail polishes by them. I have a lot of them. But they didn't last very long for me. Like for example, this particular one. This shimmery gold whatever shade. I'm awesome at describing shades today. Shimmery gold, whatever. The next day, it was as if I was wearing nail polish for seven days already. I just don't like that that look on nails. This one, I actually used a lot of this one, but because I really liked how they look on the nails, but I don't like. I'm not gonna be redoing my nails every other day, seriously now. And the ones they have like gel, gel nail polishes, not worth the hype. Definitely no. So, yes, so they are a natural brand, nice transition brand, I want to say, but they do have some stuff I don't like, like sodium hydro hydroxide and some stuff when I looked at the database of ingredients. Yes, there is a, such a thing, and yes, I had the time to do that. <laughs> I'm that sort of a nerd at the moment. They were like, uh, like causing rash, irritations and stuff, and I was like, mm. No, thank you. Let's try something more natural. For me. Okay? The products I actually did like by them was, for example, the Mac Ma Macadamia Lip Balm. I really, really like the... Ah, I love how it smells. I love how it smells. I forgot how it... Yeah. You see, I, I just... I smell it like... Whew. I love making it mean nuts, so this may be the reason. And the products I also enjoy by them are their Radiant Lip Crayons. Crayons. This is like almost gone. It was like this here, but there wasn't that much product in it for the price. So you do this to make the pro to force the product out of there. These were really nice, very hydrating, as opposed to some of their lipsticks. They have the Radiant Lip Color also in this like crayon in this bronzy sort of shade and then what I also like was uh, these lipsticks that they have this sort of packaging there is a logo here as well for you to trust me that it's them there we go and this one was my favorite Rose Alba and I really used to love to use it. I don't use lipsticks currently because my teeth got a little crooked because of my wisdom teeth coming out. I already have two extracted and one more needs to be extracted and then I'll get braces and get my teeth straightened out so then I'll start wearing lipsticks again. I just love smelling products if you haven't noticed. This one was okay too, the red one. Did not dry out the lips that much as opposed to the range, their range of lipsticks in this golden sort of a Packaging dried out my lips so much and oh my gosh, is this a beautiful color? Yes Very dark berry sort of violet profound So drying on the lips and did not last at all. I'm sorry. I'm being honest and As to eye products, I used to like their eyeliner this sort of it It's dried out, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the pointy tip. It's not that pointy anymore but very nice for applying liner, and you're off. But did not last, not that long lasting. I'm sorry to say. At mascara wise, mascara wise, I did not like this volume, verdict. I butchered that as well. I'm sorry. This sort of a mascara wand that was not no, just a no, on all front, 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 fronts. The mascara I did like was the volume elixir one. 
with the hibiscus extract. It doesn't smell very nice now. It smells very strange. This I like. They like the one. It was very nice. I actually even repurchased it. I'm not using the prize anymore, but I did repurchase it to prove it. I have two. Both of them are brown. And sorry, everything's going to hell here on the table. And I also have a eyeshadow palette by them. Let me hold this so it doesn't fall out. They look very nice, right? Like even in this huge mirror. This one is a brownish. Yeah, yeah, they're brown, but they looked really nice. I'm not going to be able to read this. This is in French. It's brown and cadescent and this is enough. Today is not a day for foreign words. Did not last long at all. I mean, they do have like a primer sort of their own. I should have primer. I tried to use it with, but did not last at all. So I bought it. I didn't use it for quite a while. And um, I'm sorry. It just didn't work for me. But I know people for who it did work very nicely. I mean, and price range is actually okay. I mean, nail polishes are like free, 40 euros. These gel sort of thingies, they're like five, six, seven, depending if you have that discount. That's why I'm giving such a huge price range. This one was, I think, 16, 17, the original price, or 18 at discount for it as well. I have so many products by them. As I said, those coupons, like you get in like a shopping frenzy, everyone, oh, discount, and you get this present when you buy this, and it's like, whew, so many products. I'm gonna give the nail polish to my mom and I guess I'm just gonna throw all of the others away. Because they're used. The ones I didn't use I re I gifted or I gave to my mom, so oh, excuse me, shouldn't have eaten before making videos. Okay, so these are the three brands I wanted to talk about today. I should have zoomed out. I was close here because my table is here. So hopefully you have you received some useful information about the free brands, Manufactura Avon and Sheer. I definitely recommend those brands based on the fact that they have worked for me in the past before I discovered better products or la more lasting products and they do work for a lot of people so but for me personally I switch to to more natural brands and more natural and long lasting longer lasting so and I'm thinking if that's everything I want. I just glanced at the mascara I'm currently using, Dr. Hauschka. So I uh, need to still buy more products by them and then I will definitely do a review. So from the reviews I've done, from the reviews I'm planning to do, you'll be able to see which brands I prefer currently. I'm going to be exchanging them because I don't like getting into one brand I like to exchange. Very rarely I do stick to one particular product. So. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this wasn't too overwhelming. I know I'm just talking too much. It just came from work and it's just like talking all day. So I'm kind of in a frenzy. So if you have any comments, experience or anything, please leave them below or leave them on my... I'm sorry, leave them on my Facebook page. And thank you for watching and I wish you a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye.